Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel Learning with Roshan Sir. We provide video on physics, chemistry, maths and Vedic maths. हमारे चैनल के सारे वीडियोस को देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को प्रेस करना ना भूलें. Now let's start with the video. Here we start with the chapter Algebraic Expression and Identities. That is the unit Algebra. Now very first of all, what is Algebra? Now Algebra is derived from the word al -jabr. Which means reunion of broken parts. Here, in these two terms, algebra or in algebra, you can see it is taken from the word al al, which means it was discovered in Arab. So we conclude that the algebra was discovered in Arab countries, and later on it was studied by other part of the world. Now we'll move for the fundamental concept of this chapter. Now suppose we are having this expression. Now in this expression, this 3x, 4y and 5 will be three different terms. And this whole will be taken as, as a algebraic expression. Now in each term we have variables and constants. Now suppose we take 3x square and now in this case 3 is constant and x square is variable. Now let's have some definitions of the fundamental concepts. Now the very first one is constants. A symbol which has a fixed value is called constants. For example, we are having 7, 2 by 5, root 3 and so on. The next one is variables. A symbol which can be given various numerical values is called a variable or a literal. In the other words, we can explain this one as a symbol which can be given a various or a different type of numbers or a different type of values. For example, we are having, we have taken as example of x equals to 2, x equals to 4 and x equals to minus 10 and so on. So here we can see the variable x is being given a different values of a number 2, 4 and minus 10. It can be given many more also. So here x is a variable. Next one we are having algebraic expression. It is a collection of variables and constant connected by one or more by operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. Now we have various types of algebraic expressions. The very first one we are having a monomial which is consisting of one term. In binomial we have two terms. In trinomial three terms. And then we use multinomial for the two or more than two terms. After type of polynomials or algebraic expressions, we'll go for a few more terms. And here we have the factors. Each of the quantities multiplied together to form a product is called the factor of that product. For example, if you take 7xy, in that case, factors are 7xy, 7x, 7y, xy, and 7xy itself. This can further be classified as numerical factors and literal factors. Here we are having 7 as the numerical factor and these all as a literal factors. Now we are having the coefficient. So any factor of a term of an algebraic expression is called the coefficient of the remaining factors of the term. For example, we take the numerical coefficient for this example is 7. Literal coefficient is x square plus y. And we can also find the coefficient of, here we have find the coefficient of x square. Now, if you are finding the f coefficient of x square, then you have to just remove the x square from here and we see what are left apart from x square. And here we are having 7 and y. So 7y is the coefficient of x square. And now if you take only x, in case of only x, we will be left with 1x. So, we are having the coefficient of x as 7x and y, 7xy. Then we have the types of terms. And if we, here we have like terms, the terms having the same literal coefficients. For example, we are having 5x square y minus 10x square y and x square y. Here, in all of the cases, we are having same variable that is x square y, x square y and x square y. Hence, it is a like term. 
then we have unlike terms the terms having different literal coefficients for example we take 3xy comma xy minus 4y etc here in all of the cases we are having different literal coefficient then we get one more new term that is polynomials and the polynomial is an algebraic expression if the parse of the variable involved is having non negative integer so any algebraic expression can be called as a polynomial if it is having the par with a positive sign then we have degree of polynomial which means which means the greatest power of the variable in the polynomial with the help of the degree we further classify the polynomial with the different names as for degree 1 we call them a linear polynomial degree 2 we call them quadratic polynomial and with degree 3 we call them cubic polynomial that's all for the introduction portion of this chapter we are going to continue with the exercise in the next video thank you हमारे वीडियो में लास्ट तक बने रहने के लिए थैंक यू डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट ऑन इट